So when it comes to the government, they love to open the door. Because we like to think that we've got the English Channel. And we also like to think that we've got a border force. But when it comes to our border specifically, it has been travelled over quite a few times. Because I've actually got some interesting statistics from GB News. And it says around one-sixth of the detected irregular arrivals were Afghans with Iranian, Vietnamese, Turkish and Syrian nationals. So that right there is basically a, a, a good breakdown of who we get in the UK. Afghans, Iranians, Vietnamese, Turkish and Syrians. And between all of those countries, especially Vietnam, there is a whole load of countries that they could settle in first. But no, 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 they decide to come to the UK. They decide to go onto the universal credit system. And they decide that they're not going to leave. And it says that one stark trend which shows little sign of slowing is the increasing numbers of Vietnamese arrivals in the UK. And they're coming in by small boat as well. So the amount of countries that they're travelling through. In fact, I've got a map up on the screen here. This country right here is Vietnam. This long one that goes all the way down. So this is how far they're travelling. Travelling all the way through here. All the way through Uzbekistan, Turkmenistan, straight into Europe. Then they reach France, then they come to the UK. So it's quite literally the other side of the planet. But I guess compared to the Vietnam system, the universal credit that we have in the UK, I'm guessing it's a pretty decent system. But another statistic which caught my eye was the number of returns as well. And you can see that most of the people that get returned are originally from Albania. I'm sure you remember a couple of years ago where we signed that return agreement with Albania. And honestly, it does seem like it's actually working. It's just a shame that Keir Starmer is definitely not going to do this with other countries on the list. Because if this is working, this Albania return scheme, he could do this with Vietnam, Afghanistan, he could do it with all of them. But I guess time will tell. But let me know what you think in the comments. Do you think that the UK should reserve a place for Albanians and Vietnamese people? Or like myself? Do you think that Albania is for Albanians and Vietnam is for the Vietnamese? And don't forget to check out this video, where the government is paying people benefits for having multiple wives. And thank you for becoming one of the 47,133 subscribers. This country has gone crazy.